guys, it's Stacy, and I'm coming to you today with a card I'm putting together, and I thought I would get on here and record and upload this so maybe it can give you guys some ideas. Um, so what I did was I heat embossed some images on some vellum. This is Elizabeth Craft Design. I think it's called Respect. Um, and then I used die cuts, and I heat embossed these in white, and... I cut out a bunch of them and then I made this background on some UFO paper with uh, alcohol inks and I just heat embossed um, a sentiment and die cut some prayers from a Hero Arts Prayers Stampin' Cut and I'm going to put it together. Oh, and I used, this is a 5 by 7 so I used A7 layering dies from Waffle Flower and some holographic paper and I just put them together and uh, die cut a frame because I don't have a frame that size and so I thought I would just get on here and put this guy together so hopefully it's not too clumsy I store my look the needles all stuck in there because I've been using it so I tried to prep a little bit because I really wanted this to be kind of quick just to show you um, but I had put those together and I I cut two out of white cardstock and then um, then a holographic frame with those waffle flower dies. So I'm using art glitter glue with a precision glue tip. That's how I'm able to get this so fine. And this is actually a card that I'm making for Lena. She is uh, Jamie's uh, from Sweet November Stamps, her cousin. Dad just got out of the hospital, or he's still in the hospital. They found masses on uh, on his brain, and so what I did. Let me do this really quick. Oops, that is not going to work, is it? Um, what I'm trying to do is just glue it on the edges here. That's why I put the glue down first. So. Um, they found masses on his brain and lung, uh, lungs, and he's in the hospital right now. I just had surgery. So, um, I'm going to run this over and put this in her little egg coop. And, uh, I have a plant that I have for her, and I crocheted a, um, pot, or like a basket. So, did you see how I did that? Hopefully I was in frame. So what I did was I put all the glue. So if you could say some prayers for her and her family, that would be great. Um, positive thoughts. So, what I did was I went ahead and put the glue on the frame like that so that it wouldn't show up on the vellum. And then, um, position where I wanted. So I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna trim these off here. Good scissors over here. That's okay. So they're stuck enough for me to trim, and then I'm going to, um, because art glitter glue dries pretty quickly. I'm kind of all over the place, guys. So if I'm scattered or the way I'm talking doesn't make sense, I apologize. So what I'm doing now is just trimming so that uh, these don't hang out the edges of the frame. That would be pretty too you left it like that. You could even do it on top of the frame. But I really want that um, background that I made with the alcohol inks to shine. So, like I said, I'm in the camera's view and hopefully none of this shifted too bad. I think that one did a bit. That's okay though. I can fix it. And if I wasn't uh, filming, I would let this dry before I did the trimming of the edges, but because I'm trying to do this quickly, because I don't want to edit anything, um, I'm trimming it while it's wet. But if you're doing this at home, let it dry. It'll be much easier. <laughs> Let's see, let me make sure I got all that off the front of it. Here, they're still a little bit hanging. Here. And there's a little bit 
here instead. So yeah, say a prayer for her and her family. <clears throat> okay. I might actually take like this and put it maybe here. A little extra Want me to fill everything up. I wanted some space for it to breathe. I gotta be careful because there's glue on the back of this frame. Uh, and then I'm gonna be putting the prayers like this. I think. And then to you and your family. And then I'll trim that. Even it would look good down here. A lot of times I like to put my sentiments and have it overlap the images. I think that it um, makes a more cohesive card and like I said I want room for this to breathe. I think I will put the, the, leaf, the um, yeah, these leaves here in the corner. So just a little bit of glue there show up on the vellum in the front and I already finished the inside of the card I need to write in it I'll show you guys that when I'm done here um, let's see so what I'm gonna do is attach this first and then we'll attach this and then we'll put it on the card base so, like I said if you're making something like this at home give it time to dry before you start moving everywhere, especially because it's holographic paper. We'll show the glue, but I'll show you how to fix that. Because I did get some glue on it, especially if you're using um, liquid glue. But I like liquid glue uh, for the most part. It's usually what I use. Rarely do I use a dry glue or tape. Uh, art glitter glue is so it's pretty good and if you use that precision tip <clears throat> I don't get my head in the frame okay if you use the precision tip it's usually so fine that it really doesn't show up through your cardstock unless you're using like copy paper which I've even done that before and it hasn't came through on there I should have checked where which way I wanted this um, on the alcohol ink background but and if you've done alcohol ink backgrounds and you're having a problem with them drying um, you probably you may have too much alcohol ink and th I mean that's kind of especially like I have older Ranger alcohol ink that's probably I don't know it's probably 12 13 years old so it's a little bit some of it can be grainy or a little bit I don't know if it's thicker but it takes longer to dry than my newer ones and um, Look at my glues leaking because I store it upside down. But that's a good thing because it's not drying and then getting thick. So I just wipe it down. Usually I'll put this back in there um, when it's just me because when I'm not trying to rush, look and I bent, bent my pen. That was super smart, guys. Don't do that at home. So I think that's, I'm going to pull it out of, well, hopefully you guys can see that. It's a little crooked on there, darn it. Mm, that's going to drive me bonkers. Because I'm kind of like OCD. But take time next time. When you're at home, take time. So I'm going to do that. I've already, what I did here was I die cut this multiple times out of a heavyweight um, cardstock, like a 110 pound, I think it is. And I glued it together. Um, and I, I layered it and glued it together. And this is on some cardstock that I actually got from uh, Lena, who is getting this. Uh, and it has like, it almost looks like Spectrum Noir in there. It's her cous cousin's um, Copic paper and she wanted sparkles in it. So it's sparkly. Okay. 
she had given me some of it when I was over there getting a mug I bought from her. So, I will show you how to fix this later. You just have to be careful with the alcohol background um, with the glue on there. So, I think we're going to do that. And I'm going to use foam strips here. Sorry for the crinkling. These are really fine strips of foam. And I'm just going to Two of these will fit on the back, like two, two thick. That's what I'm trying to say. So, just pulled off those. And if, when you use your paper cutter, if you have that happen where your edges get kind of sharp on the end, which I don't like, Use your bone folder, smooth it out. Okay. All right, that's probably good enough. I think I'm gonna put it there, and don't put your sentiments on upside down. <laughs> Let's see. Um, what I'm going to have to do. straight so hopefully I'm in frame with this which I'm not because it barely fits on my desk um, and this has the wire that shows you where you're cutting so and that's not working do it before you put your foam on the back it's gonna drive me bonkers that that's not straight either see it. Oh, too bad. And I can see that the O, I think, overheat embossed. It's, um, I'm looking for my 10 thickness gel pen. That's what I'm doing here. Eight, eight, eight. <laughs> there we go. And in this, like, I didn't <clears throat> want to go with uh, a drab card. I, I wanted a little bit of shimmer. I didn't want it to be over the top. But I think when somebody needs encouragement, the card needs to be cheery. Or just, you know, be light and airy, depending on the situation. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to have to pull that off of there because I want to, see, I should have planned this first. Darn it. Here's what I'll do. Otherwise, I'm going to tear that up and I should have planned, since this is being hand delivered anyway, I should have left a gap there for the thickness of the prayers there, but here's what I, how I can fix that. I'm just going to do two layers of foam tape. So I'm going to attach the prayers there. This can go on this side first. Last snip. I'm going to have to find that later. So I'm going to attach 
this with my art litter glue. And it's probably going to start pouring out because I store it upside down. So even if I set it upright, it will kind of pour out. But I'd rather have that than it be stuck on the bottom or the glue. Because it gets thick over time, it would stick stuck up in that tip. So. And I usually don't have issues with it clogging when I store it upside down. Now I'll show you guys the inside. I haven't written anything in it. Hold those images down. I should have had my tea Hopefully, it's straight enough. These aren't exactly um, the best for that anyway, because the prayers isn't exactly like flush or straight. I just put the block on there to weight it down for a minute, especially because you pose a synthetic paper. I don't know, you can really call it paper, it's plastic. So I want to make sure that that adheres to it, especially with the sentiment being so fiddly. And one of the things I probably would have done, but I didn't think about it until just now, you could add glossy accents on top of that prayers, let it dry, and it'll look like almost like an enamel. Um, sentiment. Okay, I'm going to put this back. And I'm not going to put any, like, bling embellishments on here because I don't know if you can see it, but there's the holographic paper, and then this is shimmery, almost pearlescent. So is the prayers. And in the background, I put some Tim Holtz, uh, I think they're called alloys, and it's really shimmery. And I don't know if that's showing up in there, but <clears throat> yeah. And maybe I'll come back after I'm done with this and show you the other background I made and uh, put together another card. Okay, Just trying to add a tiny bit behind here so it doesn't show through the bellow. Just a hair. And I'll probably go get the plant and show you because I got her a plant and um, show you the crocheted basket I made to put it in the planter. And not all of these have to be attached, right? Because they're being held down by not only the frame, but it's just a little extra. And if you do little dots behind the heat embossing, it typically won't show through the vellum. I'm telling you, this art glitter glue dries so quickly um, that that's probably enough, but I'll throw another block on it here in a second. Um, that's probably good there. And this is being held down by those two different points there. And then I said I would show you how to get some glue off of some holographic paper. Now, I have to be careful because my background is alcohol ink, but I sprayed a little bit of rubbing alcohol in here. You could even use a baby wipe, which I have one here. I think that rubbing alcohol will work better. And I've done this before. Um, you just kind of 
helps dissolve that glue. It's probably would have been better if I had done it while it was still wet, rather than waiting. But if you do this, there's a spot there, like a little blob. It gets rid of the, some of it anyway. The glue. Like I said, I just have to be careful not to touch the background with this rubbing alcohol. Wipes can leave streaks on certain surfaces, so that's why I was choosing a little rubbing alcohol. Especially like mirror-like surfaces. I don't know if you guys have ever wiped down your glass mats with it. Especially if you have the Tim Holtz one and it looks foggy. It's because whatever's in the baby wipes leaves a, a cloudy. Like if you try to clean even... I use them around the house. So even if you try to clean like your mirrors or whatever, they'll leave streaks. Okay. And like I said, I needed to get a piece of cardstock here. If you're worried about your gel pen, scribble on your finger to help it flow. This one typically doesn't have any issues. It's a bigger or a thicker font on it or tip nib. Okay. So good enough. I'm not going to mess with that. Um, that. I went ahead and did the inside with the same pearlescent cardstock that's here. I took some spare, um, some of the, um, whatchamacallit, the images that I heat embossed in white embossing powder and the uh, and glue them in there. Okay, on the vellum. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach it there. I wanna make sure it's right because I did my handmade with love. And <clears throat> I use liquid glue to attach my card fronts too, you guys. If you go, if you use the precision tip and art glitter glue, it typically doesn't show through. You know how some of it'll get wet and show through the card stock? It usually doesn't do that. But this is Yupo, so <clears throat> it probably wouldn't show anyway. Gosh. My allergies and sinuses are so messed up, especially from the AC being on all the time. It just dried up. I want to make sure that I get enough glue on here because I this Yupo paper is heavier and it's plastic, so it's not gonna like absorb and create that bond like it would with cardstock to cardstock. Like it's almost instant with art glitter glue. I'm sure a lot of you guys use it, or the Barely Art Glue. I haven't used that, but I heard it's very similar. I've just had this one for a couple of years that I've been using, so. So here, I'm attaching that. Babe, can you bring me the plant with the basket? Are you out there in the living room still? I'll show you guys the plant I made her, or the basket. Let me do that. Yeah. Like that. I'm put this to the side. Thank you. So it's a peace lily, and I doubled up on the yarn that I had because it was a lighter weight to make this planter. And I did bobble stitches and double crochets. And then I did a border on it here. And then I sewed on this little tag, this leather tag that I got from Hobby Lobby. And then I just wrote my name on it. So she knows it was made, she'll know it's made by me. I've crocheted her some chickens. So I need that. And here's the card. So like I said, I'll, I'll write in it, and um, yeah, this is a five by seven card. Woo! Uh, if you guys think I should have laid it out different, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you think that it needed any more embellishments like sequins or pearls, tell me what you think. Sometimes I think less is more, and there's a lot of sparkle in this card already. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. What I'll do is come back maybe with another video. Um, once I figure out what I want to put on here, and um, this is another alcohol ink background I did. 
and uh, I'll explain a little bit more about how I did the alcohol ink backgrounds and maybe put some images on here. So I'm sorry I haven't been on here much guys. I'll try to get on here again soon and I'll see you next time. Thanks for spending some time with me. Bye guys. Bye.